Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video I will show my remote controller that I am using to control my robots. Also, I will explain why I am using my custom version of remote controller and not, for example, PlayStation 4 remote controller that uh, has better design, more buttons, better joysticks. But uh, for my robots, I prefer to use my remote controller. And uh, let's first uh, take a look at uh, my controller. It uses two joysticks. Left and right. Uh, three buttons on the right. One, two, three. And three buttons on the left. One, two, three. Uh, two buttons in joysticks. And uh, Bluetooth adapter. Robot also has uh, uh, each robot has its own Bluetooth receiver, so it, this adapter can connect to one robot or to another. And now I will demonstrate how I switch uh, controlling from one robot to another. Currently, I am controlling uh, robot version three, as you see. And now I switch control to version 2, that on the left. Uh, for that purpose I have to re rebin the controller. Uh, choose the robot version 2. It takes some time for rebinding. And OK, robot 2 now controlled by this remote controller. And now let's talk why I'm using the custom remote controller and not uh, the stock one. Uh, the first uh, reason is that stock one doesn't have the display. And I need the display to get uh, the telemetry information from robots, such as uh, uh, the temperature of the motors and the battery level. Uh, these two parameters are very important, because uh, uh, if the uh, motor will be overheated, then it will be burned. And if battery voltage will be dropped too much, then it will be damaged. So, uh, this is the first uh, main reason. The second main reason is a Bluetooth adapter that I'm using to, for communication between uh, remote controller and the robot. Uh, uh, it's a little bit tricky to connect with um, controller with uh, different adapters and to rebind it uh, easily. But, uh, this one, as I've shown you, will allow to do it very easy and quick. Uh, let's take a close look to the Bluetooth adapter that I'm using. It's a HC05 Bluetooth adapter that uh, many Arduino lovers uses for communications. Uh, one is inside uh, remote controller and another one is attached to the COM port of a Raspberry Pi that controls robot. Now let's talk a little bit about Bluetooth adapter that is used in remote control. Uh, this adapter uh, can operate in two different modes. 
the first mode is a data mode and another mode is a, a command AT mode. If we will power on the Bluetooth adapter, it will go to the data mode and this is indicated by fast blinking uh, red LED. But we can switch it to the command mode uh, by pressing with tiny push button uh, if we will hold it during power on. And now the LED indicator is blinking uh, rarely and it's, it's indicated that uh, uh, adapter in uh, AT command mode. Uh, in my remote controller, uh, this tiny button is pressed by with a more bigger button. Uh, also, I am using uh, this button in remote controller to tell uh, to my Arduino uh, that uh, a controller should be started not in remote control mode, but in binding mode. And I will show how I do it. So I am press uh, button on Bluetooth adapter and press button for Ar Arduino and power it on. Uh, after that Arduino is going to the special mode, change Bluetooth adapter receiver and uh, we will see that the Bluetooth ad adapter also uh, currently running in AT command mode because uh, uh, the red uh, LED is uh, blinking uh, rarely. And now I can select any of the receiver that I have uh, by pressing this button. I currently have three receivers, developer, dog 2, dog 3, and after I select the uh, needed one, for example, dog V3, uh, is uh, rebinding and rebinding was uh, succeeded and now uh, with Bluetooth adapter uh, we'll try to connect uh, to the robot version 3. Uh, more information about uh, this remote controller and uh, STL files uh, you can find in uh, video link descriptions. That's all. Bye.